What's up you guys? Welcome back. So today's exciting. Today we're going to be doing a makeup haul with all the makeup that I bought during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Black Friday was a month long and Cyber Monday was a week long. So everything that I got here today wasn't all at once. It wasn't on just on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Like I really did take my time every few days, see what each brand was kind of having their deals and steals. And then this is what I ended up, <laughs> ended up with, which is quite a lot for myself. I don't normally purchase this much at once, but there's a lot of things that I've been looking forward to um, purchasing and why not do it now? when you have the sales. So that's what we're gonna be getting into today and I'm excited, so let's just get started. I just want you guys to know that all of this makeup I've kept in its packages and I have not even attempted to try to use any of it, which is so unlike me, but it is a little overwhelming with how much I do have and I'm like, where do I start? So that's just something to note, but I'm excited to be doing this video so then we can finally start using some of this makeup. We're going to start off with some Pat McGrath because I did get quite a few items. And I will say we all know her price point and she is pretty pricey, but one thing that I've noticed that Pat does that I don't notice any other brand doing is she gives sales constantly. So if you are in her emails um, or just on her website, like you will get a deal somewhere and it's a pretty good one. You'll get anywhere between 15 to 35% off. But this here, I think I got for 35% off with everything. So definitely something to note if you are looking to get something from her, I would just hold off on the deals because she does give them quite often. Now Pat has a lot of good products, but one of her most expensive, I would say is her Mothership palettes, which retail for 125 US dollars. I have one of them and it has been like one of my absolute favorite palettes that I've ever purchased and that was the Mothership Divine Rose 2. So I've had my eyes on a couple other of her Mothership palettes and I was like, okay, well this is the time to get them because she had them on sale for like $78, which again is pretty pricey, but when you go from 125 to that, I'm like, it's a steal. So I ended up getting two of them and I have, the first one I'm gonna show you is the first Divine Rose. I loved the second Divine Rose, so I was like, you know what, let me get this one too. I got it in the limited edition pink packaging. I think it's stunning. I love this color. And when you open it inside, this is what it looks like. What makes these palettes so fun is she always puts four special shades in them. Um, and some of them are like super metallic-y, glittery. Some of them have like a duochrome finish. These shadows really are something special where it takes these to the next level. So I would start off with these shadows all over the eyes and then you just add these to really give that eye a wow factor. Um, this is a lot more cooler than what I normally wear, but I was like, I've been keeping my eye on this and it'll get me kind of stepping out of my own box and start wearing more cooler tones. She does have some warm in here, but majority, like I said, is cooler, but an extremely stunning palette nonetheless. So I'm really excited to add this to my pack collection. And another thing that I have to note, I am a sucker for her packaging. She really brings an experience when you purchase her products. I cannot get enough of just her stuff in general. So I only got two. So the next one is the Mothership 5, the Bronze Seduction Palette. I've had my eye on this for a really, really long time too. Again, packaging just amazing and a great experience. Something I always look forward to when I get her products. This is just her regular black packaging. I have a seal on it. That is one of my most like favorite things to do in makeup, just to peel that off. So that's what that looks like. And then on the inside, stunning. Again, her four special shades in here. You can see this is pretty shifty. So is this one. Really just amazing stuff. And I feel like until you get your hands on one of these Mothership palettes, you'll understand the hype because at first I really didn't until I got the Divine Rose too. And I was I was really hooked after that. And then I kind of got into more of her products, which then just spiraled out of control. I'm a big, big, big Pat fan. So besides falling in love with her eyeshadows, another product that I absolutely fell in love with is her Matte Trance Lipsticks. 
I cannot get enough of the formula. It's a, a formula like I've never tried before. I've really stayed away from like true matte lipsticks because they could be drying, but you love the pigmentation that you get from like a true matte. But these, these are just next level. I don't, like I have no words for how I feel when I wear them. They're just amazing. They last all day, you get that pigmentation and they are not drying. They are so extremely comfortable on the lips. So the lipsticks themselves are pretty pricey. Um, they're, I think, 38 US dollars, which, whoop. I love high-end makeup, but sometimes when I think about the price, it is, it is pretty pricey. But again, when you get her sales, this ended up being $14 a lipstick, which some drugstore products, I'm sure you can find like that. Um, some of her other lipsticks I've gotten as low as $12. So again, really look for the deals. But I want to show you her packaging on the lipsticks as well. I'm just a sucker. She's just so, so fun, so creative. They really are a nice experience. Um, so the colors that I ended up getting was Divine Rose, $19.95, Softcore, and Elsin. So let's do a little swatch for you really quick. Okay, so we have Divine Rose, really pretty. Next we have Elsin, which is a really beautiful, beautiful red. Then we have Softcore. Real, these swatches are horrendous, I apologize. <laughs> really pretty. Listen, I am not a swatch queen. That might be something um, that I work on in 2022, but as of right now, swatches for me are just not, just not the greatest. And then we have 1995, which I was really excited about because I was going through my collection and I realized that I have quite a few lipsticks that claim to be 1995 or the 90s. And so I really want to swatch all of these 90s lipsticks and see how they look up against each other. But again, really, really pretty. All right, moving on to the next brand. So we're going to be talking about some more lip products. And this is from Dose of Colors. Now, I am, again, a huge, huge fan of Dose of Colors. Everything that I've ever tried from them has been a hit for me. And another thing that I love about them is they are also constantly giving out deals. A lot of times they're 50% off or buy one, get one free, which is just insane. You know, a lot of these brands give us like 20% off here and there. Dose of Colors is straight up with the 50% at least tw twice a year, which is amazing. And that's like not just during like holiday season, which is cool. So I've actually recently fallen out fallen in love with their lip glosses so that's what we purchased and I got one liquid lipstick because it said it was Anna's favorite which is the owner and I was like you know what let me try it so let's start off with the lip glosses so I have three lip glosses in the shade must have macchiato and on repeat okay so we have up first must have re and another thing I love about these lip glosses pigmented but not where they're like, you can shear them down if that makes sense. Um, and they just, they last really, really well too, which is amazing. Then we have Macchiato, which I really like this one because it's, I don't have any type of lip gloss that warm. Really pretty. And then we have on repeat. So three really stunning, all different undertone lip glosses. I typically go for very nude lip glosses or sheer ones. So I wanted to just like step out of the box and try something new with these lip glosses being 50% off when I purchased them. I got a few. And then let me show you the liquid lipstick. I don't really wear liquid lipstick that often anymore, but sometimes I will pull for it. And again, being a nude lover, I was like, let me try this one. And this is in the shade Sand. It's like nude, nude, which was what I was looking for. Sometimes I really like just a super light nude. Now, when I worked at Sephora, we used to call these our little stripper nudes. Like we just felt sexy and hot and naughty when we wear a nude like this. And listen, I've talked to a few other people who feel the same, so it's not just us. But I love me a good just light ass nude, you know? All right, moving on to some Natasha Denona. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love 
Natasha. I love everything that she comes out with as well. I feel like my two favorite eyeshadow brands have to be Natasha and Pat McGrath, which is why I've spent a little bit more in my collection with those. Once you find something that you like, you know that it works and you know that has that reliability. And it's a little bit of an investment, but that's what I like. So her products just like always blow me away. So this is a product that I actually didn't think I was going to purchase until everybody else purchased it. And then I did not see one negative review online. And that is her Glam Face Palette. Do I need a Glam Face Palette? No. The reason why I don't is because I'm very particular on my steps. I usually have specific, like, I like this blush with this eyeshadow and this, this, this. So I never really gravitate towards an all-in-one. But all-in-ones are so amazing for people who aren't like that. For someone who just, like, wants it all there, super easy. You don't have to think about it. You could just go to here and then be done with your makeup routine. It's also really great for traveling. So when I didn't see a single negative review, I was like, okay, that's what we're getting. Love the packaging too. Look at that mirror. Oh, it's so beautiful. I know some people don't like the mirrored effect because they get dirty easy, but I'm a sucker for the mirror. I just clean it off. It doesn't bother me. But let's take a look on the inside. Oh, and it's got one of these we're going to have to rip off. But this is, first of all, let me get this where it's not shiny. There we go. So this is what it looks like. You have all your eyeshadows right here. And then she has a highlighter and blush duo, which really love this packaging idea. Okay, first of all, sorry, I just got my nails done and I like don't know how to act now. <laughs> um, but I love that they have this little separation here just to keep that from you know, getting dirty and stuff. And it's oh, just first, again, this is so awkward for me to hold. I really apologize. Take a look. Beautiful. So she does have two of these. She has a light and a deeper one. And so I purchased the light one. So if you're a little bit deeper than me or you like something a little bit smokier, I would definitely go with the darker palette. But I love that she gave that option because Let's be honest, we're not all the same skin color, so really great that you do have that option. And then another product that I grabbed from her was one of her lipsticks. I hear really good things about them and I haven't tried them yet, so it's like, let me do that. I purchased the 11NB, it's called Natasha. Again, another nice nude. Let me swatch that for you. And that's what that looks like. So these next products apparently went viral on TikTok. I didn't realize, but I've been wanting them before all of that. I've been wanting them for like a year now, but they were out of stock for the shades that I wanted. And I'm that type of person where I'm like, I can't just buy one. If there was like three I want, I have to buy all three at once. That's a weird mentality to have, but that's just how I think. So they had them in stock and I had to get them. And it's the KVD Dazzle Sticks. I just can't stop pe hearing people talk about them. And when I see them on Instagram and YouTube of makeup artists using them, like I fall in love with them more and more and more. And let me tell you, these are beautiful. So I got the shade Electric Bolt and Flash Storm. I originally wanted Flash Storm when Nikki Makeup on Instagram used it on one of her models. And I was just like, I need that and these are just stunning so these are what they look like just this really cute stick pop it off the formula and this is something that I've heard all across the board these are nothing like I've ever felt before they're not something that you could just like put on your eye like that like you can but they're very very soft so they can crumble so I would suggest the way to use it is with your finger get some product on there and then it's going to be so hard to tell on camera i swear but you'll see let me see if i can get a little closer come in it's multi-dimensional really really beautiful like you can see it's got a little bit of a darker base and the shift has like this beautiful purple and blue maybe a little gold in there I think it looks a little different in each lighting but I loved the dimension in this eyeshadow and this is something so perfect to just like put right on top 
of whatever kind of eye look that you're doing and it just makes it that much more special. Now the other shade again that I got is called Electric Bolt. Get a little closer, come on. Focus, doesn't want to. Here we go. Really, really pretty gold. Like both of these are highly reflective, which is what I really, really like. Um, so it's got this gold, it's got some almost like green in it. Um, I can't really tell what else, but I would say like this gold green shift, but it's not like a green where it looks green. It's super soft. Again, you have to see it in person. But again, the highly re reflectiveness is kind of what I've been really into lately. I've been going towards very extraordinary styles of eyeshadows, which I have a video of that coming out because you guys have to see some of the eyeshadows that I've been secretly purchasing. Well, not secretly. If you follow me on Instagram, you've been seeing what I've been getting. And I need to do like a dedicated video on them because they will just blow you away. I hope they do because they blow me away. Um, but I want to see how these work while on the eyes and then possibly pick up more because these really are so special. Really beautiful. So this next brand, I've actually had my eyes on for quite a while, but when she came out with her holiday collection, I was like, that's it, that's the one. And that is the brand Oryx. So if you don't know what Oryx is or who stands behind it, um, this is Samantha Ravendahl's brand. She's a pretty well-known influencer here in the community. And when she came out with this holiday collection, I just died for it because I don't have anything like this in my collection yet. So her product in general, I feel like I do have something slightly similar. And when she originally came out with it, it was colors that like I have in my collection or could possibly like replicate without actually getting her product. But this, these colors that she chose are stunning. So the colors that are in the holiday collection is Entice and Disrupt. So let me show you this. So this is what the product looks like. It is a cream and like pigment, eyeshadow, metallic, like diamond dust. I would kind of like use all of those words to describe it. It's very, very unique. Not a lot of brands have it, but you can find this similar in other brands. Um, so this is the topper for the cream. Get this off for you. So this is the shade. How absolutely stunning is this? I do not have something like this in my collection, which is why I ran. Let me show you a little bit of a swatch. This beautiful like olive green, screaming, screaming my name. Olives I feel like have been doing their thing. People have been wanting something like this for a long time. And the fact that she delivered, cause it's something so wearable, it's nothing really crazy. It's not like green, which there's nothing wrong with that. but. A lot of times for neutral lover whores like myself, we want something that seems on that scale, <laughs> but not like too loud. And I think she really hit it. Not me. Let me show you the topper. So this has this really beautiful, like light, um, golden reflect to it. It's hard to see on the hand cause it's very diamondy, but it's meant to be placed on top of the cream. And I'll show you that. It just gives this really beautiful, highly reflective gold with this olive. It's a dream. It really is. And then we have Disrupt, which, whoo, another just beautiful, beautiful color. Wow. Now these two together scream holiday, so I'm glad that she chose these colors for this collection. A little bit goes a long way when you touch it. So pretty. And then for the topper, has this like really pretty duo effect where dead on it's pink, but when I shift it, it turns gold, which I'm a sucker for. So really, really like that. Let me put this next to, again, it's so hard to see on camera, in person, gorgeous. And then we're gonna put that now on top of that shade. Just 
just beautiful. Speaking of influencers, there's another influencers brand that I've been just dying to try. And she dropped another palette release. And when I saw the new palette, I was like, okay, I want the new one and I want the original one. And then I want to try some other products. So I just did a big purchase, which I'm really excited about. Because again, I hear nothing but really good things. And that's Vive. Jamie Genevieve. I love her. I think she's amazing, amazing, amazing. She's someone that I can literally watch. She's just like chill, down to earth. I'm obsessed with her aesthetic. I just I just love her in general. So I was like, I know I'm gonna love her makeup. Um, so let me show you what I got going on. So this is the original palette that I wanted to purchase. This is what it looks like, by the way. It has this like faux leather feel to it. Really nice, feels luxe. You got her name um, logo here at the bottom in gold. I love black and gold, that's right up my alley. And then this is what her palette looks like. So let me get my hands around this. <laughs> it's huge. So this is what it looks like, beautiful. The pan size on these are just, it's, it's honestly, I like it. At first I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, but I feel like with the size of it, it you're never going to run out. <laughs> like Nobody's going to use that much eyeshadow. And if they do, power to you. But I don't normally use that much eyeshadow. I never really hit pan on mine. But it's also because I buy a lot. But I love the pan size. I really, really do. This is something that you can just use forever because it's that type of tones. You can mix it. You got some cools. You got some warms. You could go from day to night. It really is an essential palette, so I love that she called it the essential. Yeah, really beautiful. So I had my eye on that for a really long time, and then she came out with this palette, which is called The Muse. And when she came out with this, I thought that they just needed to be together. I couldn't buy one over the other. I, really weird to say that, but it's true. This is what the packaging looks on this one. doesn't have that faux leather feel, but has this beautiful gold Muse with the same hardware for her brand. And I just love this color story. Same setup as last time. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Just absolutely stunning. When I see shades like this, I just think of romantic. Just romantic. Again, with shades like these, you can go from day to night and you can really create so many different warm to cool romantic looks. Beautiful, just beautiful. I was never really one to wear pinks and stuff like that, but every single time that I do, I fall in love with the makeup look. So that's why I was so intrigued to get this Muse palette because I've never not liked when I've worn shades like that. So I was like, why not add some more of that to my collection because I always feel like I buy nudes and neutrals and things like that. And then I'm also somebody who loves trying new bronzers. So she has her bronzer duos nice faux leather packaging love the gold detail and then on the inside you have your duo so i got the shade medium i believe yes so it's medium one and two that's in here and i love that because you can obviously see one being slightly cooler and one slightly being a little bit warmer so you can really play around to get like your perfect bronze so i'm really excited to try that and then lastly from her brand i got two lip liners which her lip combos always I'm just like <laughs> like obsessed with them okay so like I'm the type of person where whatever stands out on you that's what I'm going to purchase and one of the things that I always stand out for me is her lip combos so I'm gonna give anything her lip liners and lipsticks would be amazing but I feel like I do have so many lipsticks as I just bought so much more so to me, it's a little bit harder to find like a really good lip liner. So that's what I did. I was like, if anything, she's going to have some bomb ass lip liners. And the shades that I got were Bark and Brat. So let's try Bark first. I think one's going to be like a little warmer and one's going to be a little cooler if I remember. So this one is Bark right here and this one's Brat. This is going to be a really good one for when I want to look like super big lipped pouty, put a nice nude, you know what I can do, is that nude liquid lipstick with this would look amazing. 
And then I wanted something just a little bit more with color to wear with some of the other like non-straight nude lip combos that I have. Really love these two. So next product I have is another palette, which do I need any more palettes? Like pump the brakes, Amanda. But all of these were calling my name, so I had to. But I got this one during the Sephora sale. Can you guys guess it? It's by Huda. Oh, the Rose Quartz Palette. Oh my gosh. This is another one of the products that I didn't jump for at first after watching countless reviews and everybody being like, no, this is something that you really need. I'm, they're not lying. Let me show you the inside. Oh my gosh. Just beautiful. Going back to me saying earlier with shades like this, just feels so romantic. I feel like this is nothing that Huda has or has ever come out with. And it was just one of those things that I was immediately drawn to. I feel like her palettes can be a hit and miss with just the formula and the way that the product performs. But everybody was saying that this was one of her like more better ones. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try this because one, I was already attracted to it. Then to hear that this is probably one of her best formulations in this palette, I also had to grab it too. Just so fun. Another thing that just drew me to the, this palette are these shades, like this, this, this one. These are what I was talking about with my extraordinary, just really fun shadows that I've been into. And the fact that she threw these in here, I was like, I have to. I don't know what it is about them with these duo shifts and... Just these multi level, like sparkly, diamondy, just funness on your eyes is how the best I could describe it. I'm just so obsessed with it lately and I cannot get enough of it. They're so special. And I've just seen countless amazing looks with this palette. So I was really, really excited to grab this. I can't wait to play with it either. I have so much here that it is extremely overwhelming. I don't know where to start first, but. Who's going to complain about that? Is that really a problem? I don't think it's really a problem. All right, last but not least, I've been rambling on all day. This product here is a product that I have purchased now three times. It's a product that will always, always remain my absolute favorite. So of course I had to get it during the sale. And it is the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer. I can't explain enough how much I love these bronzers. I have this shade, which is again, the Radiant Bronze Light, and I also own the Nude Bronze Light as well. I keep the Nude one also in my makeup kit because I am a working makeup artist. That bronzer works on so many different skin tones, it's crazy. It just gives this beautiful, soft, really lit from within. Like you had just been on vacation, girl, and you came back and you're like, who am I with this new tan? And that's what this bronzer gives. I'll never stop buying it. It takes a long time to get through it. I mean, you have to be using it every single day and like digging into it to probably hit pan in like a year and a half. Like that's how long it takes because these are so, it's that baked to feel you don't need that much so a little goes a long way so this lasts you a long time because yes these are pricey this is somewhere in the $50 range but I got it for I believe 30% off maybe 35 I could be lying could be 25 I don't remember it's all a blur at this point but I got it for a good discount but if you're gonna buy anything from Hourglass because it is a pretty expensive brand like 100% try these bronzers they will not let you down they're just amazing. But that is it for this makeup haul. What'd you guys think? It's a little overwhelming with how many products I got, especially on the expensive side, but that's what I love about these deals. I'm going to wait for a Black Friday or a Cyber Monday or sign up for their email. So when they do shoot something that's like 30% off just for today, I run to it because I hate paying for makeup full price. Now I really don't do it anymore. You know, you guys know I'm not that channel that like I get something new when it first comes out and I, I'm somebody that like constantly has the new things. I'm gonna wait a minute. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna watch my reviews. But everything that I have here is something that I've been waiting for. So I'm really excited to finally have it and try it and see how we think. And let me know what is your favorite that I've showed you today, what you're most interested in and what you think we should play with in the next video. Also in the comments, let me know what you guys picked up. If you did, 
during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals and let me know what you're most excited about for what you purchased. I'm a makeup lover so I always love hearing what you guys love because 10 times out of 10 I end up purchasing it too. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for always watching. Again if you're not following me on Instagram follow me there. We're a lot more chit chatty. I get a little quiet here on YouTube sometimes but I'm always active there so you can always find me there and you can message me and we can talk. And you're part of the family there on Instagram, just like you are here on YouTube. My name is Amanda Devon on there as well. And that's it. Thank you again. I love you guys. And until next video, I'll see you next time. Bye.